What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, I'll give you a second to subscribe. Go ahead. No, it's okay. I'm patient. Okay, that was more than enough time. Before I even get into it, I want to show y'all my nails because he asked me what day it was. On October 3rd, he asked me what day it was. It's October 3rd. It's October 3rd. So I had to come with the spooky vibes, y'all. Spooky season. I really do like these nails, but I kind of wanted them to be more girly. Like, I wanted them to give spooky and girly. I feel like these are just giving, like, just spooky. If you don't think I'm going to get multiple Halloween sets or multiple fall sets in October, you're delusional. Happy holidays. Like, not to be dramatic, but Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Like, get with the program. If you still in summer, if you stuck in summer, get with the program, baby. <laughs> Self-promotion is the most important promotion, baby, and I'm always going to self-promote. If y'all have not watched my last vlog, go ahead and watch it. I'm also in the works of making another vlog for you guys. It's going to be towards Vlogtober. I'm going to be doing some spooky things, and y'all are going to not want to miss it because who don't want to get a little... You know, get a little tipsy and go to a corn maze. Who don't want to do that? As you guys can see by the title, this is another story time. I posted a poll. I'll probably put it on the screen. Somebody said I was the queen of not putting stuff on the screen. Now, y'all know I do be putting stuff on the screen. I, sometimes I forget, but a lot of the times what happens is I don't end up having what I thought that I had. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I take a screenshot of that. Or I can just show y'all on my phone because who feels like editing? <laughs> my poll, if I should do this story time that I'm doing right now or the story time that I'm going to do next. Y'all basically wanted this one first, so that's what y'all are going to get. I know what you guys are thinking, Chessa. How many fake friends do you have? Zero, because I'm not friends with none of these people no more. But I had a lot. Y'all, I, I literally ran through friends like I run through undies. Like, I don't know what it is. I'm not going to make it seem like it was just other people. Like, if you're dropping friends like flies, baby, you're part of the problem. I don't care what anybody says. If you cannot keep a friend, you're part of the problem. And I can hold myself accountable. Like I always tell y'all, we love an accountable queen. There are multiple reasons why, you know, in growing up and like especially in high school and middle school, I didn't have the best time keeping friends. I had no problem making friends. Keeping friends was my issue, which is the most important part of making friends. What I can say, it, it kind of was more towards like how I acted, like I had a bad temper. I had a lot of things due to my BPD, which I'll make a video about that if you guys want it. But yeah, like I didn't keep friends due to how I would treat some of my friends. I also lost friends because of shit like this, where I had fake ass friends. And it's crazy because the friends that I was actually like really good to, like the friends that I did anything for, that I went to bat for, are usually the ones that are in these story times doing me dirty. That's karma, baby. That's karma. This is another time where I was just Miss Goofy Goober. If you're not somebody that likes to hear details, which the details I'm going to give you guys, it is part of the story because it's other things that she did. But when I have stories like this, that's not one main event. I like to tell like all the stories, like all the things that the person did leading up to the worst thing that they did. And that's what this story time is going to be like too. So I'm not going to keep rambling. I'm not going to give you guys the whole warning about the clamping of the nails. I think I'm going to have it together this video. If I don't, then just comment down below. Chesta your cap with the nail emoji. And I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but I'm gonna try my best, I promise. Okay, so I wanna say that this story happened in ninth grade because this girl was not my best friend, but it was a girl I was very close with from middle school, like probably like sixth grade to ninth grade. This is the last year that we were friends. All of this that happened, I did end up cutting her off, okay? I didn't keep dealing with it after the fact, but I did deal with a lot of it. Like, a lot of the stuff I'm gonna tell y'all are probably things y'all would have cut this bitch off for. So I'm gonna give this girl a name as I always do and y'all I'm not one to talk about people's looks because like that's really shallow I feel like but this girl was pretty much a bully like after we stopped being friends I mean even while we were being friends she used to talk about people's looks a lot but especially after this year like after ninth grade I stopped being her friend and she really was like talking about people's looks all the time and she even came for my looks and baby I wasn't the cutest in ninth grade but uh Come on now, you shouldn't be talking about nobody. Not one to talk about people's looks, but she is ugly on the inside, or I don't know how she looks now, cause I don't keep up with people that I don't, you know, I'm not cool with or that I don't like. But at the time, she was not the cutest and she was very ugly on the inside. And y'all are gonna see what I mean by that coming up. But um, I literally could stick this girl on my porch for Halloween. I'm gonna give her the name Goblin. Yeah, we're gonna give her the name Goblin. Just for some context, I was friends with her and this other girl. The other girl, I'm just gonna name her I don't know, I'm gonna name her Fruit Loop because Fruit Loop, she literally always smelled like fruit. Like she had the best smelling spritz. I don't know what she used to use. I, I don't know if it was 
Bath and Body Works, but she used to always smell like fruit. Me and her are not friends now just because she went to another school and we kind of fell off, but she never did me wrong. Like, it's... I still have love for the girl like she was real cool we just don't really talk anymore so I'm not gonna give her any petty names I'm just gonna name her Fruit Loop it was like the three of us we weren't best friends but we like us three had a lot of classes together like we probably had like three classes with all three of us and we also had fourth period together ninth grade which meant that we ate lunch together we also had our like separate friend groups or whatever I had other friends and she had other friends and the other girl had other friends but whenever we were in those classes obviously we would be together and at lunch we were close we weren't best friends but I did trust them a lot and I talked to them about personal things stuff like that so these friends were friends that I really did trust unfortunately so there was this one time that we got invited to this pool party I wouldn't say it was an upperclassman pool party because I feel like the whole high school was damn near there like all grades were there 9th 10th 11th and 12th like it was a mixture of people um and you pretty much got like the flyer sent to you on DM and if you got it then you come if you didn't get it then you probably can still come because like I said it was like the whole school was there me and her both got the invite or whatever and this was a time where she was on her cycle I don't know if everybody knows because some of you guys are pretty young I think but you can swim when you're on your cycle if you wear you know a tampon you pop in a tampon and you're you're usually Gucci unless you're a really really heavy bleeder I don't know I'm not a really heavy bleeder that's a little TMI but I would just plug it up and go swimming but my friend wasn't really comfortable with tampons she pretty much only wore pads at the time I was wearing tampons since I was probably in like eighth grade so her being in ninth grade not really wearing it that's on her so I wasn't gonna tell her like girl if you don't plug it up and just swim what happened was she told me that she didn't want to get in the pool at this pool party she was like really stressed because she was on her cycle and she also had her hair like it was pressed and she didn't want to get it wet and uh best believe if i got my hair straightened i'm not getting my hair wet either i was like okay girl that's fine and she was like i really don't want to go to this party and be the only one that's not swimming and i don't want to be the only one not in a bikini and she was just worried that if even if she wore her bathing suit and didn't get in the pool that pretty much she would bleed through it or something and you know it's not too easy to wear a pad with a bikini if you get what i'm saying so she was just like please can you just come with me and we just wear something really cute like some shorts and a like crop top and you know just don't swim just don't get in the pool also mind you there was a boy that was going to this party that we both knew was going to this party and she knew that i had a little crush on him it was a boy that i crushed on probably a couple years in high school or whatever i did want to swim but i wanted to be a good friend more than i wanted to swim so i was like yeah i just wanted her to be comfortable so i was just like girl we can go in some shorts a crop top and call it a day like i'm sure not everybody's gonna be swimming there right like there's got to be some people that don't want to get in the pool Psych. <laughs> my mom pretty much dropped me off at the party and her mom dropped her off at the party so I didn't see her before we got there I didn't see you know we probably got on FaceTime and was like hey I'm finna head to the party okay I'll meet you there type shit but I didn't really see her I just saw her face so I was just thinking you know it was what it was like what she told me it was gonna be right I'm pretty sure y'all already know where this is going I pull up to the party shorts on top on I, I done slick my hair and a slick back money y'all know when y'all got gel in your hair you're not getting in the pool if you get in the pool and you have that eco gel it's gonna get all mushy and slimy and it's not cute and you probably gonna have little little green chunks all up in the pool so i was not prepared for no type of swimming why because my friend said she wanted me to not swim i'm looking for her everywhere and i'm looking for somebody who got on some shorts i'm looking on, i'm looking for somebody who got on a, a top literally when i walk in there everybody got a, a bikini on everybody's in the pool or they're all like sitting on the side of the pool with their bikinis on so i'm like okay if i'm looking for this girl she's here she's going to stick out like a sore thumb like she's going to be the only one in clothes other than me so i'm looking around i'm looking around the only person i see clothes on is the mother of the person who threw this party the homeowner is the only person I see with clothes on why is this girl why is goblin sitting in the stairs of the pool with a bikini on I'm confused and I'm not making a scene I'm not talking loud for everybody to hear me I kind of like squat down by the pool like by the stairs where she's at and I'm like girl I thought we wasn't wearing a bikini what are you doing and she was like oh girl like she was she just brushed it off she was like oh girl I forgot to tell you like I just pretty my mom pretty much convinced me to just put a tampon in and like you know I'm swimming I'm just gonna swim and I was like what about your hair and she was like oh I don't care girl like I don't care tomorrow's wash day anyway tomorrow's wash day anyways count your days count your days and before y'all think that it got like it doesn't get any worse than that regarding this pool situation oh baby it definitely does 
Why does she end up trying to play chicken with the boy that I like? We're gonna name him Frog Legs. He was tall, so we're gonna name him Frog Legs. Why is this girl sitting on Frog Legs' neck playing chicken with the other girls in the pool while I'm sitting at the little, some little table they had or something like that by myself? Cause girl, you already have on a bikini after telling me to come in a whole school uniform, damn near. And now you playing chicken with my crush. Is there something I'm missing here? Am I being punked? What is happening? Like, what are you doing? I was like, girl, how you gonna play chicken with the boy you know that I like and stuff. And she was just like, girl, we was just playing. Cause she was cool with him. Like we were both cool with him. We were both his friend. So she was just playing it like, girl, he just asked me to get on, on his neck and to play. Like it was on some friendly shit. And I was just like, okay, yeah, okay, girl. Like, I don't know. I wouldn't do that with my friend's crush, but I mean, we were cool with him. So I don't know. I kind of just was like, whatever, girl. Okay, boom. So the next situation that happened was this time we went to a football game. Um, in ninth grade, like I said, we did not drive, so I would ride with her to the football games or we would both get dropped off. But this one particular time, my mom was not home, so I was spending the night at her house. Her mom drove both of us to this football game. So we get dropped off at this game and we're chilling. And I don't know about your I don't know about y'all high school, but at our high school, we did not watch the football game. Like I'm so sorry to the football team. First of all, our football team was trash. Second of all, even if they weren't trash, people don't go to football games at high in high school to watch the football game. There's very few people that watch the actual game, like the fucking, the players' parents watch the game, the teachers and stuff watch the game. But all of the like people I knew, we were behind like the actual stands. I don't know what it's called. Like, you know, behind where the concession stands are and stuff and just all the space where you can walk and stuff. That's where everybody was at. We was not watching no game. And if we were sitting, we were booed up. The only time you were sitting and watching the game if you weren't like a sibling to somebody that was on the team or a girlfriend of somebody that was on the team is if you had your little boo thing at the game with you and y'all were just sitting cuddling watching the game and even then y'all would be walking around and stuff talking to people and stuff like that so goblin and i were just walking around you know mingling with other people that we knew and stuff like that there were some other friends that i had that were there and these two boys end up coming up to me and goblin and i don't think any like either one of those boys were attractive i was not interested i didn't want to talk to either one of them it was like the whole there was a boy and a friend situation like one for her one for me situation and i didn't want not one or the two like i didn't think any of them were cute i wasn't interested i literally just wanted to chill with my friend i was gonna let her talk to him if she wanted to but the situation that happened between us was that she was kind of pressuring me to talk to the boy's friend like she was like I think he's really cute I think you should talk to his friend like you should go with him you're being weird stop being bougie and I was like girl who's being bougie he's ugly like I don't want to talk to him like he might be nice and stuff and like he might be cool or whatever but I'm not interested like I don't want to talk to him like like I told y'all I liked frog legs and regardless of if frog legs liked me or not I was not trying to I didn't want none of that she kept playing it out like I was pretty much being like a sore loser or like I was being lame or whatever and I was just like girl I don't care baby I don't care you're not gonna pressure me to talk to somebody I don't want to talk to so I was like you can talk to him I'm gonna go talk to my other friends like I'm gonna go mingle and stuff and I'll find you later or towards the end of the game and she was like okay cool so of course it gets close to the end of the game and I'm over here texting her she's not texting me back I'm looking for her I can't really find her but it's a lot of people at the game so I'm just like you know what I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt maybe she somewhere behind somebody I'm pretty sure I really can't see everything going on so I'm a chill and I'm gonna look around I'm gonna call her a couple more times and I'm gonna find her let's hope for her sake that I find her the game is like completely over at this point there's not really any more people that's really there other than me and some other kids waiting on their parents to pick them up so I texted her this long paragraph like girl I don't know where you're at I really am worried about you like the first thing that was coming to my mind was not that she left me it was that something could have happened to her so I was worried about her I didn't want to text her on some hot shit like girl what the f why are you leaving me and the whole time she got abducted like I that would have made me feel really shitty so I was like girl where are you are you okay did those boys take you like girl what the hell is going on I will call your mother right now I will call her right now it's like as soon as I said I'll call her mother she texts me all types of oh no girl nothing nothing like girl I, I forgot to tell you she was like, my mom got mad at me. I got in trouble. Um, I had to go. She picked me up early. She told me you couldn't spend the night anymore. I'm sorry, girl. I should have told you. But she was going to take my phone and all this stuff. And I was just like, oh, okay. I, I don't see how you could have got in trouble while you were at the game. 
because your mom was definitely not here but okay i was like maybe she heard she got a bad grade maybe something happened maybe she'll tell me at school i don't know so i end up having to stay like out there for like an extra hour because my mom had already talked to her mom her mom was going to pick me up i was pretty much stuck there for like an hour i had to call my older brother to come get me my he was very pissed because it was a friday night he was probably with a girl or he was yeah he was definitely with a girl and the last thing he, that was on his mind was his little ass sister that needed a ride from a football game so he was all mad at me and giving me attitude and I was just like, it's not my fault, okay? Tell me why this girl was at Waffle House with the dudes that were at the game. I don't know if she forgot to unadd me or to hide. I don't know if you can hide stories on Snapchat or if maybe she was just that fucking bold. I don't, I don't like it. It's not even the fact that she wanted to go link with the dude. It's the fact that she left me at the game and then lied and I had to sit out there for an hour by myself and there was like two faculty members still there. Everybody was annoyed with me because I should have been prepared and had a ride, which I did. And it ended up like, I guess she told her mom that I ended up going somewhere else or that she, we ended up going to eat or something. I don't know what she told her mom because her mom didn't text me. Her mom didn't, you know, come or anything. So she just left me. Like something could have happened to me. This bitch did not care. She just wanted some dingling. I don't know if she got some. I don't know what happened. She didn't tell me. But it's like, girl, if you wanted to go with that dude, you could have just told me. And I probably would have went with them because I'm a foodie. Even if I wasn't interested in that dude, I probably would have came just for her safety and because I want some food. Because Waffle House was right there by the school. Everybody went to Waffle House after their games like girl you could have invited me that's weird so after that situation i kind of fell out with her probably for a good couple months like i was not feeling that not not a couple yeah probably like two months because this was towards probably like september ish and I, i'd say we started back being friends around november around thanksgiving because i remember she came and got a plate from my house and thanksgiving and stuff so we were back friends around thanksgiving so beyond any like situations that happened and before i get to the last situation that happened she was a pretty backhanded friend like goblin and i had this friendship where basically like sometimes she would ask me for money sometimes i would get her an uber like it just we were friends that did things for each other and we really didn't ask for each other to pay us like pay each other back i was pretty broke so if it was an excessive thing i probably would have just told her like girl we need to chill we need to both get a job because this isn't this isn't working. With us not paying each other back for stuff, there was a situation where we were eating and our school had like a concession stand. I think this was before Miss Obama took away our good snacks or even if it was after. We had like reduced fat snacks that were still bussing for it to be like at school. So there was like a little concession stand that really only took cash for real. So if you didn't bring cash, baby, you was SOL. We were eating lunch and Frog Legs was there and like the whole table was there. And she had asked me for like a dollar or two dollars to go get something from the little concession stand. And I would have gave it to her if I had it but I really didn't have any cash with me that day so I told her like I don't have any cash and she kind of like went and she was like you should after all them times you didn't pay me back girl don't 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 do it don't don't do it why are you trying to embarrass me because baby you don't pay me back either and if you want to get technical you ask me for way more things than I ask you for you ask me for way more shit than I ask you but we're not even gonna take it there. Why would you say that? You know how that makes me feel. Like, why would you say that in front of my crush? You know how I feel. Why would you say that? Like, you put me in such an uncomfortable situation. So I was just like, girl, you know damn well we both don't pay each other back, shut up. And then like, it was just like a ha ha, kiki ki. She kind of like laughed it off. And I was just like, hmm, that shit was not funny, girl. She was also the type of friend that used to tell me that she's not gonna hype my head up because I always get hyped up. Like whenever we would go places, people would tell me I'm pretty and stuff. My confidence was at like an all time low around ninth grade. So even with the compliments that I got, it really never did boost my head up for real. Like I did not have a big head at all. And how she would like never hype me up as a friend. She would never compliment me and I would always compliment her. And she would be like, oh, you look cute, but you know, you not all that because I'm not gonna hype your head up like other people like she would kind of put me down because other people hype me up and it's like even if a lot of other people hype me up girl you should be the number one person hyping me up if you're my close friend and I'm always hyping you like like what the fuck she was always like I gotta humble you I gotta humble you like girl you're giving haters stop stop it get some help the last situation before the like very last situation 
was there was this time that sh this girl had beef with some girl for who knows what situation at this time she was always in drama she always had beef with people which is another red flag but there was this one particular time where her mama took her phone for whatever reason and she was like in the middle like you know when you in the middle of some beef like you in the middle of an argument and her mom took her phone and we were together so she asked me if she could use my phone to finish her conversation with this girl or whatever i was just like girl yeah you can if you want to just like i'm sure she'll know it's you just tell her it's you or whatever and that like you know you're using my dm or whatever so she was using my instagram account to argue back and forth in the dms with this girl and so i was like doing my own thing probably watching tv or something while she was using my phone and then she ended up deleting the thread after you know she had that situation with the girl and i was just like oh like y'all are done talking about it she was like yeah she blocked you or whatever and that was it so a couple days later i get a dm from a fake page and it's like bitch why did you block me you should have never got in the middle of your little friend's drama all that shit you was talking your colorist and all this stuff and i was like excuse me i was like girl what are you talking about i was not the one arguing with you and she was like nah don't even say that you was really coming for me you was really coming for me like she was like sending me screenshots like oh so this not you this not you she was taking it there like she was saying some really out of pocket stuff to her that like i would never say to anybody she was like oh, okay so when it came down to it and the girl wanted to fight her like really wanted to fight her she denied all of it she was like that wasn't me i don't know why you would think that was me saying all that crazy stuff i don't like you but that wasn't me like don't if you want to say something say something to my friend because that wasn't me girl excuse me are you trying to get me jumped because that girl was like she was jumping people like she was talking about pulling up on her with all these girls and i was like girl i could fight but i don't know about one on ten like i could fight one on one i don't know about me against a fucking whole team of people like you're crazy like girl what was you trying to get me set up for or like if you was trolling or playing you should have at least told me like or something like that was just weird to me but yeah now we're gonna get to the real situation the real nitty-gritty of the whole shebang okay the big situation that almost had me whooping her ass so in my high school pretty much in middle school too like just in my city i know that other high schools or like other middle schools do this because i've seen it for other schools before and not just my school there would be like a seasonal t page or seasonal exposed page i never made it like not to like toot my own horn or no nah, i'ma toot that motherfucking horn bitch toot toot because i never ended up on an exposed page nobody ever could have my say that they had my naked pictures no one could ever say they had none of that other than that girl that took naked pictures of me while i was changing like i told y'all if y'all haven't seen that story time go watch that but i've never sent no pictures or no crazy pictures or nothing like that i never ended up on no exposed page but best believe i've ended up on a tea page best believe i ended up on a roast page most definitely most definitely i wasn't the most liked in high school i wouldn't say that i didn't have a lot of friends i just didn't have a lot of friends that actually liked me in real time like them bitches would act like they liked me but they didn't like me and there were a lot of girls that started a lot of beef with me and stuff so if there was a t-page i was gonna be on it for some fucking reason i was gonna be on it let's say that my school's name was i'm looking at my roku so let's just say that my school was roku high so they make a new roku t-page or whatever and the bio pretty much says dm me with some tea and i'll post it or dm me um some rumors or some secrets or whatever the fuck some corny shit like that pretty much to dm somebody's business and they'll post it on the page so like i said this was around the time that i liked frog legs and your bitch kind of gained the confidence to shoot my shot a little bit like i told you i would eventually and that shot got backhanded so hard like i literally it was a fucking air ball bitch i didn't even come close to making it like at all i missed by a long shot and it was because he was talking to a girl that went to another school like i don't know if he lied to me about it or not but he told me like um that he's talking to somebody and I, that she doesn't go to the school but like he's talking to somebody so that's a good reason to curve me if you ask me but yeah i had only told the two friends fruit loop and goblin i almost said gremlin but that would apply too but i told goblin and fruit loop about it those were the only people that knew about it obviously if he told his friends they knew about it too i know how high school works i know i know how boys are i know how people are how the t pages would work they would be up for like a maximum of a week and then it would get reported deleted and then a new one would be made it would be like roku roast page two or roku t page number two something like that so they would keep making these pages for probably like a month and then it would kind of fall off and die down 
it was so funny because literally it would have like a zero following but all the fucking comments all the pictures would be jumping like people would be on it like and i can't lie you're gonna look because you want to see if you're on it like you want to see if people are going to post about you so you're going to be watching the page like I, I had post notifications on baby if in if in ninth grade if in 20 i think it was what 2016 2015 if t post notifications were a thing on instagram at that point mine were on they were on and ready baby if there was a bell that bell was hit like i am ready to see these posts i want to see what they got to say about me i don't care so i started seeing like funny little posts about me some things would be like chesta thinks she's all that she's not even cute i saw so and so i saw chesta and so and so kiss in the bathroom like it would be some rumors that you know they just came up with out they ass obviously and nobody really believed them like there would be people in the comments like yeah this is a reach or like yeah sure and like I bet that happened on and, or I remember there was comments like on another episode of things that never fucking happened like stuff like that I wasn't really stunting that because rumors are rumors and people are gonna make up shit right yeah but then I start seeing posts that are like "Ooh, I heard Chester got curved by frog legs are you serious are you shitting me right now so of course I go in the group chat with me and Goblin and Fruit Loop, and I'm like, y'all, who? I know y'all didn't do this, so please tell me I don't gotta go confront Frog Legs because even if Frog Legs told somebody else, like nine times out of ten, it was Frog Legs that you know posted that or like sent it in, unless it was y'all bitches. So did y'all bitches do it or not? Fruit Loop right away is like, girl, hell nah, like go ask that boy. She's not really defensive. She's not really mad that I asked her because she knows that I told her that and goblin in confidence so she wasn't really tripping she was like no girl it wasn't me like go ask him goblin doesn't really say anything right away so i go and i text frog legs because like i said we were friends so i did have his number and i was like i know you did not and i screenshot it and he was like no i would never do that like we're cool as fuck i would never do that like what do i look like i curved you because i have a girl like there was no other reason so why would i send that in and he sounded very believable y'all so i was just like mm. Mm -mm. This was definitely Goblin. I'm waiting for Goblin to respond before I go in her personal messages and shoot her a little text because baby, what is taking you so long? You're on Instagram, you're posting, you're on Snapchat. Why are you not answering my question, girl? I know you see it. She kind of dodges the question and she's just like, girl, that wasn't me, that, that wasn't me. Why are you asking me that? Like rolling eyes. Well, I don't know if the rolling eye emoji was even there, but like that was the type of attitude she was giving. Maybe that, that little emoji. But yeah, she was like, girl, don't ask me no stupid question like that, that wasn't me. Defensive as hell and even I remember um, Fruit Loops texting me out of the group chat and was like why is she mad like and I was like girl I don't know did you get offended when I asked you and she was like no like I would have asked y'all too because you only told us right and I was like yeah girl I only told y'all so I was just like whatever I'm gonna charge it to the game it's not even no big situation because they was posting all types of stuff on there like girls getting pregnant you know girls all types of people's business they was posting like damn near people's pictures on there and stuff too so I wasn't really tripping off what they said about me even bad bitches get curved sometimes <laughs> This is what really got me. In ninth grade is when I first got diagnosed with anxiety. I wasn't diagnosed with anything else at this point in my life, but I was diagnosed with anxiety and this is when I was struggling. And that story time that I told y'all about my heart surgery is like that all took place in ninth grade. And I only really opened up to Goblin about it. I told her about, you know, the anxiety attacks that I had and stuff like that. And I told her about how I got prescribed some antidepressants. Like I got some, I got prescribed some medication to help me with my anxiety. And at the time, I can't even lie, because of the stigma on mental illness, I kind of felt like I was embarrassed to tell people that. Like, you don't, I mean, even if it's not embarrassing, you don't just walk around and tell everybody that you take medication. You know what I'm saying? And I never did take it at that time because I was too scared to take it. But if you have anxiety, baby, and pills can help you, baby, if you don't pop them pills, like what? Take it. There's nothing wrong with that. But I didn't understand that in ninth grade. And I don't know, I just wasn't really comfortable telling all my friends that I told Goblin that in confidence because she's witnessed me have an anxiety attack before. So I was just like, you know, I can trust her. So a couple days passed and the T page is still up. I come across a post of me and there's like, they made like a meme. It was like a picture of some pills and me and like they put like a fake mouth open and they put like a pill in my mouth. It was like a screen. It was like a funny meme that they made about me. And it was just like someone or I heard through the grapevine or a little birdie told me that Chess is taking pills. And that one really stung because I was like, wow. Like even though there's nothing wrong with the fact that, you know, I got prescribed these pills, 
I only told Goblin that. So I know for a fact only Goblin had to have said that. I don't know if she thought that I like opened up to a couple more people about it because I didn't tell her that I only told her. I just only told her, you know what I'm saying? So I think she probably thought that I could have pinned it to another friend or something like that. I ended up texting her a screenshot of that and I was like, girl, I know this was you. I never told anybody else about this. And she was just like, girl, what the F is wrong with you? You need to reevaluate and think about who else you told because what do I look like? What do I look like DMing this lame ass page? Whoever made that page is lame as F. I don't give a F. You're trying me at this point. What do I look like? What do I look like? And she's like dogging the person who made it, which we didn't know who made it. It was anonymous, obviously. But she was dogging who made it and she was dogging people who send stuff in. So I'm like, okay, girl. You're lying, <laughs> you're dead lying. Like, I don't know why you're trying to like fake that you're, you know, that you, well, I don't know why you're trying to cap straight to my face. I know who I told, I know who I told my business to baby. And you were the only one I told that information to other than my family. And what does my family look like coming on a high school drama page and sending that in? Please, touch grass because you're, you're definitely delusional. I end up DMing this T page and I'm like, I will send you $20 or whatever you want to tell me who sent you the first information. Cause I knew that she sent that. I told them, I know that um, Goblin sent you this, sec this second post, but I want to know if she sent this too. Like, I just wanted to know if she was that like, that weird like she did it a week ago and then she did it the next week like you must really not like me girl like let's be for real i really just wanted you know the evidence before you know i ended up walking her like a dog or something else so i was just like um can you tell me who sent you this first information was it frog legs himself or was it goblin or somebody else and they're like sorry they were acting all like professional like sorry i have to keep it in confidence like this is confidential information like if you don't get your ass on they're like i can't tell you who's sending in the information it's anonymous blah 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 and i was just like okay so i sent them a screenshot of her like pretty much saying that they're lame as f and like dogging whoever made that po that page and i was like okay well if you change your mind, just let me know because the way she's going hard about this is really not, it's beyond me because I'm sure she did it. Literally, they sent me all the screenshots. They were like, oh, I'm lame as, I'm lame as, what does she look like? Well, this whole time she was the one sending me all this information, screenshot after screenshot, like, well, it was only like three screenshots. Apparently she told them some other thing about me, but like they didn't post it because like, I don't know, they didn't post that one. Maybe it wasn't juicy enough or something, but she sent like three different things that I told her about me um to the page and i was just like girl what is wrong with you that's the situation that ended our friendship so we stopped being friends and yeah after that she turned into the biggest bully i mean not bully bully but she was like rude messy and a lot of drama um i'm pretty sure she got her her ass whooped at school like i never was friends with her again to this day i'm not friends with her she is blocked on instagram and i don't know about everything else i don't have her on snapchat and stuff but yeah that girl she's out of here if you're watching this girl you still worried about me and you don't got no t page to send my business to now baby i'm gonna tell y'all my business before anybody else does so give me a kiss boo Mm. Y'all, that's the end of this video. Moral of the story or lesson of the story is don't deal with fake friends. When friends are giving y'all red flags, they're being weird, they're being backhanded, they're doing shit, they're leaving you at football games, like shit like that, they're obviously not considerate of you like you're considerate of them. Just cut them off. I don't even gotta give y'all no long speech about it this time. Just cut them off. Like this girl was fake and I walked her like a dog. So that's it for this story time, you guys. I hope you guys liked it. I have another one coming out for you guys that's gonna be even better. So if you guys liked it, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you never miss when I post a video. Follow me on all my social media, which is in my link tree in the description box below, especially my Instagram. Ain't no way I have 40,000 followers on Instagram and I only get like 2,000 likes. Please go show love. Every one of y'all that watched this video, if everybody who watched this video liked my Instagram pictures or followed me on Instagram, I would have hella Instagram followers. And if you want more story times, if you love your mama, go follow me on Instagram and like my pictures. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye.